Hey, this is Greg Hawks, and I'm going to be showing you a couple things you can do with Data Miner. I use Data Miner pretty much every day. I think it's a great tool. It's a free tool, but there is a little bit of a learning curve if you're new to using this tool and, or you, you're not really sure where to go or where to start. So uh, I know when I got started, I didn't really know much about downloading Chrome tools or anything like that. So I've included a link on the ATOR Sourcing Toolbox website. So all you got to do is go to this data miner, which is pretty much at the top of the website. Click on Download from Chrome Store. And it will take you right there. A couple of things before you get started scraping data. You'll need to add data miner to your uh, Chrome extensions. You'll also need to register a screen name and password. And once you do do that, you'll see this little icon up here, and you'll you'll see my process in a little bit. You'll see the little icon pop up when you when you do a Google search. So I found it easier to get started in Google doing site searches when getting started with Data Miner because it can be pretty complex. They have a lot of different ways, a lot of different functionality built around this tool. But it can be pretty complicated if you're if you're new to it. So I'm going to just concentrate on doing a site search. And let's see, let's do this one. So basically, when I say a site search, I use site colon, and that's a a Google operator that tells me I want to look specifically at this website for these keywords. And you can mess around with some of the syntax and boolean, but it's it's not as you don't have to be as detailed as you used to used to be, but I mean with just this standard site search, I was able to pull several different profiles of people. I mean, you can see this list is pretty significant. I mean, I think the search results say uh, 418 results, which sometimes is true, sometimes it isn't. But the cool thing is, is that I have you know job title, I have person's name sometimes I can pull location in this way so it's it's pretty significant in that respect but the the problem is is what am I going to do with with these results it's not really parse well I can't really plug it into a spreadsheet very easily well that's where data miner really comes in and helps so once you have data miner downloaded you need to highlight the section one of the entries in this case okay so I'm going to highlight this first person, highlight all the lines, and then what you need to do is right-click. And that brings up a menu. I've got several other extensions on here, but the one that I want to click on is Get Similar, Data Miner, this little tool-looking thing, okay? And what happens is you get a pop-up window. And this is where a lot of people will freak out and say, what is all this stuff? I don't know what all this stuff is. You know, so... Don't get intimidated. What these are are recipes, and what recipes are is they're they're basically code, they're XPass, and these recipes help sort the information. So as long as you kind of understand that, you should be okay. Don't get intimidated by it. I did a lot of trial and error and, and messed around with it, uh, and once you kind of get the, the basic steps, once you dig in here a little bit, and, and, and find which one works best for you, depending on what website you're in, it's it can be a pretty quick process. So um, another important thing is you need to click on the public recipes because these are my recipes. These are custom recipes I've created for several different website, websites I've already been on. But this is for another time because that can get really complex and I don't want to lose lose everybody so make sure that you click on public recipes in this case and you'll see all these different search patterns these search recipes but what I found really works is one called Google SERP details okay and data miner has made it so you can actually search the different recipes so if you just search for SERP this one works pretty well, and you'll see why. So what happens is this is basically your preview window. This is what the 
what the data is going to be pulled at. And I see that, hey, I've got a I've got a person's name, their job title. I can't really see very many details beyond that. But I have a specific URL in case I ever need to come back, which is awesome if you're using this for tracking purposes. It also gives me some additional details, which sometimes you get, sometimes you don't. It just depends on what kind of search you have built. And another cool upgrade that they've made recently is you can download this in several different ways. You can download it as a CSV. You can download it as a direct Excel spreadsheet, which is new, which I absolutely love. The other thing is you can download it into a clipboard. So if you do have a lot of tracking spreadsheets like I do, and you don't want to reinvent the wheel every time, you can add it into a clipboard and then paste it into your spreadsheet, which is another time saver that I, I really like that they made this upgrade. Because it, it was that you'd have to, you can only download it as a CSV and then you'd have to convert it to an Excel. So I just, I love it whenever a, a tool streamlines and takes out some steps for me. So I think that's great. Now I'm going to download it as a CSV. Actually, I'm going to download it as an Excel spreadsheet. And it takes a couple, sometimes it takes a, a few minutes. It can take several seconds if you have a big download. But let's see what pulls up. And you see what pulls up is a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet. And you've got all this data so you've got you've got their name you've got their job title you've got their company name you've got a direct link you can always go back to if you need to let me just see if this pulls up on another screen So you've got all that information. So that's a direct link. That's this direct link. So you've got a reference point. You've got some description details about the person. And this is this is gold for me because this is a, a pipeline that not people not a lot of people probably know about. Uh, it gives me job title, it gives me their name, and I can use that information to do additional research. Uh, especially in this field, I mean, I would look up publications almost instantly and see if they have uh, an email there or if they're on LinkedIn or if they're on Indeed or a job board that I have access to. That's, those are all great resources. There's some other cross-referencing resources that you can use too, but what I found is people finders aren't. They, they get me mixed results. It's it's always easier to try to search a social profile through one of the bigger social networks. So, but I mean, I've got this huge list. I can see many of these folks are principal engineers, and that's that's the the target that I'm looking for. So, definitely, a, a, especially if you're looking for niche talent. I mean, I was able to find this list of people pretty quickly and download this into a, a tracking page pretty quickly as well. But again, data miner it is a little bit complicated. There is a learning curve to it. So mess around with it and hopefully this video helps in getting you past the next steps. Uh, if you do have any questions, you can feel free to contact me. I have a ton of other tools on the HR sourcing toolbox. And one of the things that I always try to do is when I add a tool or, or technology, I always try to have a little bit of an explanation on there because a lot of these, especially nowadays, like Zapier and things like that, they're getting more and more complicated. So there's there's a learning curve around a lot of these, and it's it's hard to get past that. A lot of people will will try things with Dynaminer, will try things with the Recipe Creator, and get lost and and you know have to move on to other things. So. Um, but I always like doing this. I always like tinkering. And if you do get stuck or have a question, feel free to contact me. I'll be I'll be happy to help. I hope this helps. That's it.